So today, President Trump made statements about some old dead politician looking up from hell. <laughs> Which is, I'm sorry, he, it, like, it makes me laugh. And if you could make me laugh, I, I don't know, man. I can't be all angry and upset with you. And President Trump does that. But the deal is, is that predictably, the blue team, they... Oh, my goodness this this gentleman that he's besmirched how dare he and it's like uh guys do you not realize what you're doing with the whole imp- you know what you know what it, i i i just uh, leave it wherever it is but i believe that that's a great prefix the idea of the reaction being more um important than what's taking place and we got this article coming to us from bbc news perth city center it's okay to be white stickers condemned if you are unfamiliar with this i think 4chan prank um they put up the post it's okay to be white and then the localities the governments of those localities just completely freak out and say oh my goodness this is so hateful and th-. and it's really to show that there is this anti-white sentiment and yeah your your reaction <laughs> let's get into this article scotland's deputy first minister has condemned the appearance of stickers bearing the slogan it's okay to be white in perth city center the stickers were posted on lampposts and drain pipes throughout the city at the we- at the weekend at the weekend that's very strange john sweeney who is also msp for pinch Perthshire North said the atrocious stickers had no place in Perth or any other part of our country. Police Scotland said it was currently looking into the matter. Isn't Scotland like 90%? <laughs> Isn't Scotland rather homogenous? I mean, I'm pretty sure there are some uh, Scottish POCs, but... <laughs> Like, I'm pretty sure, like, isn't, like, uh, Count Dankula is from Scotland, and if you're unfamiliar with who Count Dankula is, he's the gentleman who had his, um, pug do the Nazi salute as a joke, and ends up, you know, having the internet spill until his real life, and getting locked up, and having to go to court, I think he ended up having to pay a fine, but the deal is, is that, what what they've done like i said this was a prank that was posted on i think it comes from like 4chan or something like that and it really is designed to highlight the fact that there is a huge anti-white sentiment even amongst you know the those of that color themselves quote unquote color themselves it's it really is a a little a little mind-boggling when you think about it And I just, you know, I recently got into an argument. Well, not really an argument, just someone had a problem with my channel and I was called a racist and the like. But the deal is, is that it's a matter of being treated the way I'd like to be treated. I want to see, you know, like I've, there's literally, you can stand on the top of Count Kilimanjaro and scream, I'm black and I'm proud. And it's okay. No one, no one bats an eye, but, uh, you know, a Caucasian person can't go and do the same. Where's the equality in that? You know, oh, well, there's 400. Okay, stop. Cut it out. I'm willing to, we, we can sit down and have this conversation about what's taken place since the civil rights era. Because I'd love to have that conversation, but no one wants to talk to me about that. So, but as far as going all the way back to my slavery and everything else like that, I'm sorry, my ancestors took those took those ass whoopings. I appreciate it. How have we been? How have we gotten dragged down so far over? You know, like yeah, 400 years. That's one thing, but the last 50 years have been especially uh, terrible. Posting on Twitter, Mr. Swinney, Mr. Swinney said. We must stand together to resist this unacceptable material. It's okay to be white. That that's all it says. That's the that's the crux of the prank. Is that y- the response and the reaction is going to be like, oh my goodness, it's sickening and disgusting. Stickers bearing the same slogan appeared in Dundee in September. The message originally appeared as a 2017 poster campaign in the U.S. organized by an internet message board with the aim of provoking react. And they always acknowledge the fact that. This is exactly what they that this is exactly what they want. It was later picked up and spread by neo Nazi groups. Was it though? Was it or was or, or is that just something that the media's cooked up? 
because oh my goodness it was it was no you you went you knew what it was initially so thusly why why would you sit here and now try to associate it with neo-nazi groups when you know it was just a prank that was thought up by um by by message boards what uh, what exactly what violence has been associated with this uh postings because with these postings because i have yet to hear of any golly Local group Perth Against Racism, of course they have something like that, said it has been contacted by local police by local people who said the appearance of the stickers had made them feel unsafe. You know what? You know what? Now Perth Perth Against Racism. Hmm. One person told the group, I am I am certainly worried now for my daughters who are not white, but are from Perth. It's sickening and disgusting to know that people people think like this. That it's okay to be who they are? Wow. Wow. And once again, look into Perth against racism because this... You smell it? You smell that? Smells like a hoax, baby. <laughs> like, it smells like some bullshit. A police Scotland spokeswoman said, although no complaint has been made to police regarding these posters, they have been brought to our attention and officers are currently looking into the matter. I would not be surprised. Okay, so yeah, uh, I guess there are Scottish black people congrats whatevs i mean if you're scottish like once again like i'm i I don't know i'm not from there i'm not from there but i would definitely look into this uh into this group right here perth against racism and see if you can find any anybody (laughs) with a computer file (laughs) that simply says it's okay to be white because it is there's literally nothing wrong with it and it's and it's it's such a dick move and I'm called a racist, right? But the deal is, is that that's not how I would want to be treated. So where is that line drawn? Because that's the thing. I don't want anyone to be, I don't care if what your color is. I don't care what's between your legs. If you're a decent person, you're a good human being, I want you to be okay. I want you to rock. And I'll rock with you. I, I promise. But this whole, oh, well, you they're not allowed to take pride in their color when I personally have been encouraged to take pride in my in my color my entire life i feel that's rather unfair and shit man treat people the way you want to be treated i've been treated that way my entire life hey man black and proud go ahead brother and (laughs) and there is a connection i'm not even going to lie you know that that the head nods you know just the quick fan peace it is what it is but i can't help but feel they deserve that too right Everybody has their own cultures. Everybody has their own little clicks and things. It's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. That's the beauty of the diversity that everybody talks about. It's not a what's the name? It's not a um. It's not a, a skin, really particularly a skin color thing. It's the fact that through that all, all all that diversity, we can come together as this and united in this one thing, and that's being an American. If you are, <laughs> like, or or Scottish. From from Scotland, once again, if you are, this globalism thing's really been rocking for the last 50 years, too. Ugh. But either ways, guys, that's about it for this one. All the internet stuff. If you like this, also like this, like, go ahead, do that, too. Uh, share. If, uh, you know, because YouTube and Bishop Light aren't the biggest fans of your boy over here, bang the bell for notifications and speak. Let me know. What do you think in the comments? I mean, personally, it, 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 yeah, it is okay to be white. They're, like, why make a big deal out of it? Like you, re- you're reacting and making. Oh, this is disgusting. Oh, this is terrible. Why? Go give him a hug. It'll be okay. <laughs> but you may feel differently. You might feel like the the dude that got at me on Twitter talking about. Oh yeah, man, you racist, bro. You racist. Like, all right, whatever, champ. You know that's why children shouldn't be talking. It shouldn't be part of grown folks' conversations. So I'm I'm not even mad about the whole copper thing because I don't want children over here. I don't want the young minded. I don't want the simple minded. I like having the conversation with you guys we agree we disagree what i, I don't sit there and spaz on nobody for disagreeing with me you know, that, that will never be the case because i got mad love for y'all and i actually appreciate your opinions and particularly when th- those of you who've taken the time and like written novels in the freaking <laughs> comments uh, well i'm not gonna yeah i'm pretty sure i'm wasting my time no you're not because i'm gonna respond because you know what i appreciate you taking that time you know i mean it's the thing that's most important right so with that being said guys let me know what you think in the comments and until the next one